Yeah, when we're still in the house, then I school. Hallelujah. And I remember God did tremendous things in our midst at that time. Hallelujah. Our eyes of understanding, oh Lord, it was enlightened then. And I pray the Lord will do even more today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say the Lord will do even more today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we have come to that time now. Holy Spirit, come and take the evidence right now. Lord. Amen. Let your word come out with power and authority, O Lord Almighty. Amen. Bible says you sent your word and delivered it from oppression. Father, even as your word will be coming out this afternoon, every life, Lord, Jehovah, God, I pray, believer, it be delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray, Lord Almighty God, as men, as I held down by the force of darkness, as your word be coming out this afternoon, Lord, let there be liberty, O Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. let there be healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be transformation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray, Lord Almighty God, that our eyes of understanding will enlighten today in the name of Jesus. I will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord Almighty. Holy Spirit, take control. I come against every wondrous spirit right now. I come against every foul spirit right now. I come against every strange spirit right now. And I banish them from this premises in the name of Jesus. Amen. In any way, in any form, in any fashion, they might have orchestrated one thing or the other. Right now, I disorganize their network right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. People of God, enter to your peace right now. Amen. Enter to your rest right now. Amen. Enter to your joy right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, Lord. Lord. Glory be to your name forever. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Amen. This topic I shared, you will remember last Sunday, about a year ago. It's titled Shaking Out the Wicked Like Cockroaches. I'm not even going to remember. It's very profound in a topic, so you should remember. Shaking out the wicked, like what? Uh -huh. But we didn't conclude it that time. And as I was meditating and I was, you know, praying, and the Holy Spirit said, You know, you did not, you did not conclude that message. And I said, That's true. And he said, Go and check into your, <laughs> your archive and bring out the third one. Because it was divided in three parts. We shared the first part and the second part, but we did not share the third part. So go and bring out the third part, the third part of it. And I said, Okay. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The first part which we, we talked about the first day of creation, you will remember. I know many of us must have forgotten that because it's been a while now. We shared about the first day of creation. And the second part we shared about the, the second day of creation. Hallelujah. And you know, we took our, our text from Genesis chapter 1, from verse 14 to 25. Hallelujah. Today, we shall be looking at the third day of creation. The third day of creation. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis 1. And we are going to pray some prayers. Genesis chapter 1. From verse 9 to 13. Genesis 1, 9 to 13. Genesis 1, verse 9 to 13. And God said, Who said? God. Who said? God. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. Let the beauty appear. Let the glory appear. Every power covering your beauty and your glory, the Almighty God will deal with them today in the name of Jesus. If you believe in shout, Hallelujah. I for something to this afternoon. So you better sit tight. Hallelujah. Amen. So, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. 
It shall be so in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Every pronouncement, every blessing from the Lord <laughs> shall come to pass in your life in the name of Amen. Jesus. The Bible says it was so. Nothing could stop it. Nothing will stop the blessing of God in your life in the name Amen. of Jesus. Your amen is too low. I said nothing will stop the blessing of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now come, please give me some volume on this thing, please. God bless you. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called the seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, who said it again? God. God. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass. The land will yield that increase unto you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said this land will yield blessing unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, and God said, let it up, bring forth grass. Actually, in, this, in the uh, what is the Bible study here, I talked we talked about green pastures. Hallelujah. <laughs> no blessing of the land. That grass represents the blessing of the land. Hallelujah. And he said, and the, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. It shall be so in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, it shall be so, so in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever is called famine in your life will become a stranger to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the earth brought forth grass. You see, according to the word of the Lord, must obey. And the earth brought forth grass, and the earth yielded seed after its kind, and the tree yielded fruits. You shall bring forth fruit in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, Brother Michael was talking about uh, all kinds of barrenness mental barrenness, emotional barrenness, you know, a form of financial barrenness. So many kinds of barrenness. Today shall seize in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say shall seize in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Hallelujah. Brother, the Bible says something here. That on the third day of creation, God made all the waters under the heaven to gather into one place. Why? So, so that the dry land may appear. Why? So that man could have his own space to inhabit. Hallelujah. Pastor says the Bible says that God called the dry land earth. The Bible says God sits in heaven. He has given the earth to the to the children of men, hallelujah. Amen. Heaven is his throne, but he has given us this earth, hallelujah. Amen. To dwell, to dominate, so subdue, hallelujah. Amen. So this is your domain. Amen. I say this is your domain, hallelujah. Amen. This is your domain, amen. amen. God gave the earth to man to inhabit, not only to inhabit, but to prosper, hallelujah. Amen. To be prosperous in the land. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only that, to dominate and to rule. Amen. Amen. Every power that is contending with your dominion, the Lord Almighty God will deal with them today. Amen. Amen. See, 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 God said this thing. He said, I'm giving it to man to dominate, to subdue. So, but the children of darkness, they have understanding of the mystery of creation. 